again, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Millie. It's the mental show. Mind games. <laughs> Little birdie. Nice song. Nice. Isn't that a good selection, huh? <laughs> really? Really good. It's like Little watching, birdie. It's like watching it's like the ice birdie. skating again. This is what you got to listen to when you're practicing. So no, you talk about mind games. Uh, hey, we got to thank uh, Dr. Ryan McGally Health Group, healthyslowcounty.com. And uh, McGally and Dr. Ryan are... Um, Sponsoring our PGA Tour fantasy golf season, which is not going very well for me this year. I cannot figure this game out. It's driving me nuts. I should sign up, huh? You really should. Uh, oh. Last week, the ATT Pebble Beach. I really should. Pro Am was won by four right 15. He had 627 points, so he's going to get a sleeve of Bridgestone golf balls, courtesy of McGalley Health Group. HealthySlowCounty.com. Give uh, Dr. Ryan a call, 805 461 8822. That's 805 461 8822. You're looking for uh, help with the, uh, your diet. You're looking for help for athletic performance, things like that. Uh, Dr. Ryan will steer you right. I can tell you, I'm, I've been with Dr. Ryan for about five years and it's been nothing but fantastic. And I'd like to tell you, it's been about so, five years and I've noticed the changes in you. Yeah, I sit a little crooked now, but I'm doing better. Oh, you're healthier. You look good. Oh, you're you're eating right. So, your pronunciation is better. I don't know. I slur a little bit. Nah, it's, it's, that was. So, as you guys who know me, that I look at the lighter side of things, and sometimes I go through life, or most of my day is through humor, and that's one of the ways I can keep my positive mental side on a golf course is I look at things that are, I just, you know, it's just too much sadness to focus on that stuff, so I look at things in a funny way, right? You guys know me. That's right. So I am. That's who I am. Um, that's what I do, too. So, Same thing. <clears throat> a good joke can help any day. I mean, if you hear a good joke, it just sets the tone. Uh, you know, I often like to listen to a good joke before I, you know, before I play. So I've decided we should have the joke around segment. I just decided this. Mike and I were on a conference call the other night and had our board with us, and it was unanimous. You weren't there, Nick. I don't know what happened to that. Yeah. But um, it was. He's on a plane. Probably probably oh, you were on a plane. <clears throat> so we decided. So here's what's going to happen right now. Mike is going to read a joke and or tell a joke, and Nikki's going to tell a joke, and you listeners are going to listen and vote which is the told the best, the better, uh, the better. Um, just, what is that? What do you do better? Delivery. Delivery of the joke. And then you can guess which is the funnier of the two jokes. Um, then call in and you will win a round of golf. And if you have your own joke, you can win two rounds of golf. So you just joke around. You're going to you're gonna vote. And you need to call us at 805-903-1974. That's 805-903-1974. Listen to both jokes first. And then you can call. When we see the light, phones light up, Mike can go to the calls. We'll go to you. So, Mike, you're going to tell joke one or joke two. It's on, the, it's on your square in front of you. Oh, it is on my square. I thought you were going to hand me the sheet. I will if you Oh, like. here it is right here. So, I Do know I, which I, one I, Nikki I, wants. Should I pick a number first? I haven't, well, I haven't I, looked at these. I know. That's why it's going to be funny. So I'll pick a number. I, I know just that, to make it fair. I know that Nikki, that's I know which cool. one okay. she wants. <laughs> I'll take two. You're going two. Ah. Is that, I took yours? Good head game. Great. Way to go. I, I didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't That's know. all right. That's all right. That, that can only help. This can I only help. I seriously didn't look at these So this yet. is Joke Around with okay. Golf Talk Radio. Oh, Listen oh carefully gosh. to both jokes. Who's the best delivery? What's the funniest joke? You call in. We'll give you a round of golf. You tell your own joke. We'll give you two rounds of golf. That's how it works. Okay. Good luck, Mike. You ready? Yep. Joke number two. A golfer hits a huge slice off of the first tee. The ball soars over the fence and onto a highway where it hits a car which promptly crashes into a tree. Nasty. The stunned golfers rushed into the golf shop and shouts, Help! Help! I just hit a terrible slice off the first tee and I hit a car and it crashed. What should I do? The pro looks at him and says, Try a slightly stronger grip. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes. you. Wow. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Dude, sit down back there. Yeah, I didn't, so. First time I've heard them oh, get up. You. Let me stand up. Thank you. No, well done, Mike. Thank, thank you. I'm going to sit back there. Try a stand back up. Thank you. Stronger grip. Thank yeah, you. calm down, people. Thank you. thank you. Calm down. Nikki, it's going to be hard to top that one. It is. Nicely told, Mike. So, so basically, you strengthen you. your grip. Is that how you uh, fix that yeah, issue? Yeah, try yeah. a slightly stronger grip. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, here's the joke. So, uh, uh, you got to read it. I have to read it? Well, you have to tell this joke. I can. Oh, okay. Can I tell it without reading it? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, a, guy, a guy was out playing golf on the golf course, and his friend hit his ball over the side into this gigantic ravine full of brush. And uh, the guy <laughs> climbs down into the ravine, and, and his buddy's up there waiting for him to get done, and he hears, whack, whack, whack. 
Is there a duck down there? Oh, whack. I'm sorry. Whack. Okay. Yeah. So the guy climbs back up. The ball finally comes out. The guy climbs back up, and his friend says, so how many strokes was that? Because he was playing with the rules guy. Yeah, rules guy. How many strokes was that? And he's counting the score. And uh, the guy says, three. And he goes, well, I heard seven. And his friend said, oh, no, four of those were echoes. <laughs> echoes. <laughs> she, she heard whack, whack. Look at, is that crickets? <laughs> oh, Nick, where'd everybody go? So, see, here's, here's what would have made that joke stellar. He went down the ravine, it was full of rocks and marble, you know, walls. Because Brush was taking the, the oh, echoes away, yeah. right? So, you needed like a amphitheater type of thing. Yeah, true, So, if you true. set it with rocks. True, true. <coughs> okay, well. So, Let me read that again. Yeah, Hang on. read it, Mike. So, let's see what Mike read that one. Because so, 805 903 1974. Give us a call. Tell us who was the best joke. But Mike's going to read Nikki's joke just to see I, if that I was, magic rush runs off. Yeah. All right, go ahead. This, this is why this, I this wanted is a, number two. This is a tough one. <laughs> it is. This is a tough one. Okay. Actually, you did really good. Yeah, you did. I, I was joking. And I, and you took my advice. You did, you you did really well. And you made it your own story. You did really well. Rocks, though. Ah, Echoing like the Grand Canyon. Hmm. All right, buddy. You got this? Go. All right. A golfer hits his ball into a ravine. His buddies heard, whack, whack, whack. <laughs> and on the final, uh, on and on, and until he finally got the ball out of the ravine. His buddy asked, how many strokes did it take you to get out of there? He said, three. His buddy says, but I heard seven. And his reply was, well, four of them were echoes. 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 Now, see, he told that one better. That's a tough. That's, that's a that's, tough one. That's a hard read. I'm gonna call in five. That's and he cool. made me. Do you read want to <laughs> Well, he didn't make you read it. I no. selected the number. Yeah, now, I didn't look. No, at, I mean I had to look. No, at I'm glad you did it. <laughs> so were you look, gonna try to tell it without reading it? Yeah. She did. Oh, you tell were. It. She did tell it without reading it. Oh, I thought you were reading. No. No. She did it. She took. Oh. Her, she made her own. She threw in bushes. I had to because otherwise in, it was not gonna come and, off. And you threw in the brush. That's what killed the echo. Yeah. Ah. Actually, here's the thing. There was seven strokes. <laughs> Give her a lot of round of applause for that. I got to go back to the yeah, sound. Yeah. And find there's no that. one called. You guys are just. If I told okay. that thing, the phone would lit up. That was my belief. Up, baby. My belief going in was that. That's why I. Threw so of in the course brush. that was the idea. He's just he was trying to make excuses <laughs> for them. We're echoes. I like. So yours even had an echo to it. Your, yeah. Your punch echo. Line. Echo. Well, that was yeah. But the, but I had the I had the. The, uh, the honor of you reading the joke first, so I knew there was an echo on there, so I could it. think about it. Yeah, and you did. So you're, you're, yeah, you. Yeah, I could think about it. <clears throat> your enunciation is, and you, 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 felt, you felt. I felt your power. I felt your. I believed Thank you, you Mike. You guys want to take? Hey, uh, phones ring. Phones ring. We got somebody okay. voted. Yay! <laughs> I've never been so excited in my life. Welcome to Golf Talk Radio. Hello, Mike, Billy. How are you? Oh, and Nikki. I'm sorry, guy didn't. What did he? This is Henry from Los Osos. Hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. So, Henry, you heard both Thanks. jokes. Did you hear both? Yes. And? Um, <laughs> um, you guys better keep your day jobs. Hey, well, hey, but it's hard to we're trying hard stuff over stuff. here, man. So we're trying to give our listeners a chance to win a couple rounds of golf by joking around. So, none of us are professional comedians. We know that. So, But between Nikki and her brush <laughs> with the joke <laughs> Oops. and Mike, whose joke was better? I got to give it to Nikki. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, Mike. I, uh, wow. Oh, you just got slammed. Are you talking ah, about it, the first joke yeah. I read or the second joke you, yeah. I read? The, the, oh, the second one. Was it yeah, the, the... Oh, he's comparing the two. Are you uh, talking... He's, the, he's comparing the two that we... The so the one, one that Mike told the second joke, or was it Nikki's delivery better than Mike's, or Mike's delivery better than Nikki's? Whose delivery well, was it? Well, Nikki was interrupted a little bit, so... Um, but. I, I'll go with Nick. I love you, Henry. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. She's got the power. She's got Do you guys the play power. golf together? No, but we're going uh, to. Uh -huh. So you got to tell your own one there, Mr. Comedian, <laughs> Mr. Judge. <laughs> now it's your turn, Henry. Okay, I, I, this is one that I got. I was looking on the internet, and somebody, hey, there's somebody echo. posted this one. Um, two older fellas my age, and maybe a little bit older, um, and they, two guys are saying, one guy, they're standing there at the tee box. My eyes are, are, aren't what they used to be. Did you see where my ball went? And the, other, the second guy said, yep, but I can't remember. Okay, that air's good. 
<laughs> oh, we got a little applause. Okay. Yeah, not right. bad. That wasn't bad. <laughs> I mean, I, no one interrupted you, so that was a good thing. That's a little yeah. too too true to life. Yeah. Yes. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Two rounds of golf, buddy. True. I can't see where I might hit my ball sometimes, but that's the way it goes. All right, Henry, we'll send you a couple rounds of golf, okay? Go to golftalkradio.com, fill out that trivia form, and uh, we'll get those rounds right out to you, my man. Okay? Thanks for joking around with hey. us, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, Henry. Thanks, Henry. Bye. All right, we got to take our last break of the show here. Uh, Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy brought to you by healthiq.com. Use the code word golf talk to get your rate. Also, practice with a purpose. It's the hangar. Check out the hangar, practice with a purpose. They've been with us for a long time. We actually gave away some hangers. They're pretty cool. They teach you how to take away the club properly and also the proper impact position. Go to thehanger.com and you can uh, practice with a pur- purpose today. We'll be right back. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy on the you Golf Talk beat Radio from the Network. Get-go. You would be. Finally, a local printing company with the savings of an online printer. 